Hey there guys and welcome on in today for another tablet review. Today we're going to be looking at the VK1200 graphics pen display tablet from Vike. So let's dive right in and see what we get inside this box. We're greeted with a nice clean white box with the pen display tablet on the face. Straight away we have the tablet itself. It comes sealed in another polythene bag which is quite tough to open. So I'm just going to tear it. And here we have it. It's got this nice silver finish around the outside. It's very thin. It's got a kind of industrial look to the back side of it with four gripper pads to stop it from moving. It has six quick access seats down the left hand side. The middle one is not a key. And along the right hand side, we have the on and off button and all the connection bolts. Let's move the uh, divider out of the way. And straight away we are greeted with the Vike branded smudge guard glove. If you've ever had a screen monitor before, you will know how important these are to have. It's got a really nice feel and you can tell that they've not skimped out on the material that they've used to make it. It fits nicely and will do the job. Let's put that down. What have we got next? A thank you card from Vike. No, thank you Vike. And we have another branded cleaning cloth. Again, quite a nice material. It's got a good look to it. And here we have Vike's 8192 pen pressure styluses. It's divided in two with a nice silver band. Sleek design. There's very little sponginess in the nib, which is good. And it has two quick access keys along the side, which protrude quite nicely for your thumb or finger. Not only do you get one of these pens, Vike sends you out a spare one in the box as well. That's going to come in really handy if you're anything like me and tend to put things down where they're not supposed to go. Next, we have Vike's Inkwell style pen pot. Just clips together. It has the nib remover in the bottom and inside it has space to take the spare nibs. And next we have all the connection cables. Now the Vike tablets themselves do not come with a power adapter. They connect straight into your PC using the cables provided. They'll connect to a PC or a laptop they do have a few USB connections though, so you do need to make sure that you have some free if you're going to use this tablet. It requires two USB connections and a HDMI to run at full power. And at the bottom, Vike have even thrown in an extra bag of nibs. You can never have too many, so having some extras is good. Next we have the driver download. And last but not least, we have the setup manual. Let's face it, this will be the one and only time this will ever leave the packet. It's long, winded, and we don't really need it. So let's just have a little quick recap of what we get inside the box. First off, we get the VK1200 graphics drawing tablet itself. Not one, but two of Vike's 8192 levels of pen pressure styluses. The Vike smudge guard glove and cleaning cloth. The Inkwell style pen pot. Two bags of extra nibs. All of the connection cables. thank you card, the driver download card and the setup manual. So this is what it looks like in a relatively small workspace like mine. If you notice it's got this very sleek slim design and it holds colour drop very well at the lower angles. It looks really nice against the flat surface. 
that's enough about what comes in the box. Let's try this tablet out. So I spent a few nights using the tablet to get used to it. I found the driver download to be extremely easy, seeing as it's a one driver suits all tablets and it will automatically pick up which driver is relevant for the tablet that you're using. The quick access keys were really simple to program and the pen use on it was really nice. It glided really well over the top of the screen. There was very little parallax between the nib and the cursor point. So I didn't really find that to be an issue. I wanted to be completely honest and frank with this tablet, but I can't find any faults. There are a few additions I would have liked to have seen, like a zoom in wheel or scroll bar, um, and definitely a stand. But for the price you're paying on this tablet, you're definitely getting a bargain. I would, however, say that if you are going to be using the drawing tablet for any serious amount of time, then I would look to maybe going a little bit bigger. But for a start off tablet, you can't go wrong with this one. So I just want to say a quick thank you to Vike for sending me out this tablet to review. If you found this at all helpful, please leave a like at the bottom and ring the bell to be notified of any future videos coming out. Thank you guys and see you next time.